So, as you can see, the pack can be, the tent can be established on a backpack if need be. I just wanted to give you that little 360 view so that you'll know that even though this pack weighs about eight pounds, the tent itself, um, you can put it on a backpack, as you saw me wearing there, and uh, easily carry it. So hopefully that'll clear your mind knowing that you can somehow configure this on your pack. Hopefully this will help you out more. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Texan Camper. Today we're going to be bringing to you a cool new product that I got by Ozark. This is Ozark's two-person tent, and this one is a doozy. So, just to kind of give you a layout of what you get with this tent, you get the tent itself, which you see here. It is currently wrapped up with the fly. So. That's about as compact as I can get it right there. You also get four plastic stakes, which are used for your guy lines. You get four metal stakes, which hold the tarp, uh, the tent down. You get the yellow pole, which is the center top piece, which you've seen in the pictures, and you get two poles there. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you some basic assembly of this, show you how it goes up, the finished product, and we'll see what we can come up with. So stay tuned. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to lay out the tent so that we can stake it down. sides staked out. We're going to assemble the poles, which are those two orange poles you saw there, and get the tent upright, and I'll show you how that's done. See, it's the middle piece goes up, hooks in the center, and this piece hooks to the orange poles, which you can see are holding up the center. Now, Jacob is going to go around and show you just how easy it is to hook the remaining piece. So, go ahead, Jacob, show us how it's done. Now, there's three of these on each side. So simple, a child can do it. Got three more there, and we'll come back, show Jacob doing the rest. This should be the last stretch here. And pretty much in less than five minutes, we've got this thing fully assembled, thanks to Jacob here. All right, so now we have the tent assembled. Jacob did a great job. Now I'm gonna show you the entrance ways. Now what's unique about this tent, Jacob's opening it up here, is that it has a fully zippered opening Go ahead and open the bottom too. Fully opens. 
Now Jacob can go ahead and climb in. As you can see, there's plenty of room inside for two people. You can possibly fit three if you really crammed them in there, but this is no more than for two people. The tent itself, stand up, Jacob. Jacob's not fully erected, but this tent is four feet high in its middle, four feet wide by eight feet long. So it's got plenty of spacious room. Now this tent has a dual zipper system here, so you can go in reverse or with the other one. But there's one thing I want to point out about this tent that separates it from other tents, in my opinion, is that there is no flap that overhangs the zipper. If you've owned a tent and you know this infamous flap, you know it gets caught in the zipper. This tent does not have that infamous flap, which I think is useless. Now, if it's raining outside, you're going to have your fly on, so that doesn't matter that all this moisture doesn't get in. But you can see it opens up. There's no snagging of the infamous flap. So you tenters out there who go backpacking with tents and have the infamous thing get caught, you're going to greatly appreciate that. That gets me a thumbs up. Now, another thing I want to point out about this tent, which you probably already know by now, it has two entry points. That is critical especially for a two-person tent. Why? Because if you only have one entrance point, someone is sleeping here and sleeping here, you have one entry point, you're going to have to climb over somebody in the tent to get out, especially in the middle of the night when you gotta pee, it's dark and whatnot, that is very annoying. The benefit of two entry points on both sides of this tent is that this person gets out there, this person gets out there. You never interrupt anybody while you're sleeping in the tent. That is critical when you're in the middle of the dark at night one o'clock in the morning or whatever that is awesome i love two entry points on a tent and i'm sure you will too okay, so jacob is going to give us a tour of the inside of the tent what we're going to do is we're going to go inside this tent and we're going to show you some of the cool little um little pouches and pockets that you know for organizing gear so jacob take us inside and let's check it out Jacob, go ahead and come on inside. Let's see what it looks like. See, folks, when you don't have that infamous zipper flap, you see how smooth it opens. <clears throat> so, Jacob, show us the pockets. There's one behind your head. Jacob, yeah, he's going to go ahead and close it. We don't want to get mosquitoes in here. Close it all the way up. Look at that dual zipper system. Now, show us we got a pocket here in the corner for essentials. You can put your phone, flash night, whatnot gear in there. Go ahead and take it out for us, Jacob. Look at the little Texan Camper Junior here. We've got another one over here in this corner. We have a fourth, third one here in this corner. And we have a fourth one here in this corner. Very nice, very convenient. Look at that, see? You can put your flashlight and whatnot. Now, this tent, it doesn't have a net that goes above it, which is fine, but you do have a little lantern. loop system here, so maybe you can rig something to hang a little lantern there. So there is a little convenience there. And you can see, it's all, I mean, you've got a 360 degree view. So if you're out on a starry night sky, you can see everything. Look at that. So wide open, very breezy, very wide. Like I said, this tent, this tent is four foot by eight foot, and it's teeps, pops, the top's out at four feet high in the center there. So, Jacob seems pretty comfortable in here. Would you agree, Jacob? Yes. Very good, all right. So, the next step is to show everybody how the fly works, so if it rains, you know how to protect yourself. Right, as you can see, on each four corners of the tent, there is a buckle system here. This is where your flint, your uh, <coughs> fly, cover goes in so it's really easy to attach this to the tent it's not cumbersome whatsoever so i'm going to step back and show you how i put the fly on
Jacob is showing us how to put the guidelines in. Push it down. This gives you some extra security in case it's windy outside. Careful. Go ahead and put the other one in. You can see it helps bring it in, makes everything really tight and good to go. Jacob's putting in the last guy line. And there we go. And there you are, folks. A beautifully assembled tent. Now, if you want to get in through your rain fly, there's a zipper down here, Jacob. Go ahead and open that up and show them what it looks like. There you go. The Velcro kind of holds it in place. All the way up. There we go. Look at that. As you can see, you have a little vestibule if you want to keep your gear on the outside of the tent. It's a nice spacious little vestibule and when it's fully zipped up, if you're one person using this tent, this back area being zipped up, this makes a full blown vestibule for a lot of gear because you can just get out on the other side without having to crawl over all your gear if you're solo hiking or whatnot. Also, you can Food. Yeah, you can prepare your food out here if you wanted to. So, what is your opinion on this tent, Jacob? What do you think? What's your favorite part so far? Probably this. Where you like the vestibule, huh? That looks like a porch. Would you sleep in this tent and feel safe? Yeah. They had the cover on. There's no wolves outside. I don't think we have wolves in Texas, but if they were in Texas, the Texan Camper Jr. will dispatch of them quickly. All right, folks, I hope this tent review helps you out, helps you see what the goodness of this tent is. I'm going to do another little pan back, show you what this tent looks like. Now, you can find this tent at Walmart, Ozark Trail, two-person tent, for $47.99. So, there she is, eight foot by four foot, with a four foot ceiling, a nice fly cover, easy to assemble excellent screen opening so you can see everywhere when you have the fly off especially for a star filled sky night so if you like what you see folks you know what to do you know the routine like comment subscribe all that good stuff until we whoa wait one more what is it now and also if you want to see this thing in action see the other video we oh yeah made. the last video that we made we were at the uh sam houston or lake houston wilderness campsite so check that site out. Check out that, that video, folks, as Jacob here says. I think that's it, huh, Jacob? I don't think there's any more we can show about this tent. Nobody on YouTube seems to have a review. But anyways, like I was saying, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. Until we meet again.